typically if you're looking for a used car especially one that you might want to modify on your own you probably want to try and find the cleanest example possible and what i mean by clean is a car with little to no modifications is ideally completely stock so that if you want to modify it you can basically start from scratch in almost every situation you are better off avoiding cars that have a bunch of modifications already on them however that mindset went out the window when i found this thing what's good and welcome back to the channel today we have a pretty interesting video for you guys because it's all about the mods on the golf r now i know in the last video i said it wasn't stock but i didn't really go too much into detail on what has been done to this car and honestly i'm gonna be straight up i don't even know the extent of what's been done to this car however i have been able to visually identify a few things and of course I will tell you the full story behind this car in terms of me buying it and what I recognized when I went to buy it. But I'm telling you, this thing is decked out. Before we get into this video, I just wanna let you guys know there is a lot more content coming down the pipeline for the Golf R. So if you wanna see it, you don't wanna miss it, go ahead down below and hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Now, without further ado, let's take this thing out of the garage so I can properly show you everything underneath the hood. All right, so we took a little trip. Oh, my phone's about to fall out, damn. We took a little trip so that we have the car outside in some better natural light. So you guys can probably see the engine bay, but I'm telling you this thing has a lot of goodies underneath. So let's go ahead and open it up right now. It's a pretty windy day, so please excuse the wind noise. But here we go for the big reveal of what's underneath the hood. Now I can't lie, to someone who doesn't really know what they're looking at, it probably looks pretty underwhelming, but I'm telling you there's some stuff in here that makes this thing really, really worth it. I ended up moving to a better spot so the lighting is a little bit better on the engine bay. But of course, first thing you cannot miss it is the carbon fiber intake from Unitronic. Now, not only does this make the engine breathe a lot better, it just looks really good in this engine bay. And I know I don't have a nice looking cover on the engine, which I will get soon, but this really pops in the engine bay and it just looks so, so good. Now, just behind that, we have a CTS turbo inlet pipe, which is super, super hard to see. However, it's just right down there and it goes into the turbo. So the turbo inlet pipe and the air intake basically just work together to create more airflow for the turbo. Speaking of turbo, a pretty expensive mod on this car is this turbo right here. Again, super hard to see because everything's in the back of the engine bay, but this is an upgraded turbo from Turbo Parts Canada. Just behind the turbo, we also have this downpipe, which I'm honestly not too sure if it's aftermarket or stock. I think it might be aftermarket, but that just comes right off the turbo and goes down to the exhaust. And of course, another really cool touch is this fuel rail right here, which I believe is part of an MPI kit. So basically the MPI or multi-point injection kit is essentially just a fueling mod that helps support making higher horsepower. Now this kit here does have some bigger injectors, which obviously you cannot see. And a little surprise right here is it does have this connector, which I believe is for flex fuel meaning that this kit is compatible with E85. So if you wanted to go ahead, push some super high horsepower and run E85, the kit is already there, the car is ready to do it. So those are all the mods that I could physically identify when I went to go see the car for the first time. But I'm telling you, when I saw them, it definitely piqued my interest. And where I got lucky is that I bought this car from a dealership. And honestly, they didn't really have any idea what was underneath the hood. Now, I'm gonna be honest, there was also a lot of stuff that I didn't know when I was looking underneath the hood. And that's why I went ahead and brought in a friend who's a little bit more experienced to help let me know what was in this engine bay. And when he saw it, bro, he was like, dude, you found a good car. You need to buy this thing. He was the one who identified the upgraded. He was the one who told me this car had an upgraded turbo. And honestly, once he said that, deal done. It, it was closed. The deal was closed. I had to buy this thing. And the best part is, 
it doesn't end there. On top of the carbon fiber cold air intake, the turbo inlet, the downpipe, the turbo itself, the flex fuel, the MPI, this car is also tuned. Now, of course, with all those mods, it makes sense that it's tuned, but it is an APR stage one tune, making 360 horsepower. And I'm telling you, this car is not that big at all. This car is pretty small and 360 horsepower in it feels fast. Oh, 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 so much. It's a biker. Oh, I gotta chill. It's a biker. Dude, ruined my pull, man. The turbo. Oh my god. I was in manual mode. I didn't realize I was, I was in manual mode. Oh, the gears. Oh, third gear. This car is addicting, man. This car is addicting. Let me upshift before this thing gets mad at me. <laughs> you guys have to remember this is coming from somebody who has basically mostly been in NA cars for a long period of time. I've driven turbo cars before and supercharged cars, but only for like five minutes. This is my car. And I'm really truly pushing it and feeling what this turbo can do. And I'm telling you, it changes your perspective. It, I love this car, man. <laughs> a regular Golf R is rated for like what? 290 horsepower. And of course that's top end. If you're pushing it, they're not really making 290. And of course, I'm sure this thing isn't fully making 360, but I'm telling you, it feels like 360. This thing is quick. For what it is, this thing is quick. And I'm just so, so happy I pulled the trigger on this car. I know in the last video, we talked about the exterior stuff, you know, the wheels, um, even the little wing at the back, the lowering springs. I think everything all together, this car is definitely over, it, it has to be over 10K in mods. It has to be over 10K in mods. I don't see it being anything less because I'm telling you before I bought the car, I was looking up the mod, seeing the prices, seeing, you know, what they kind of were for. Cause I wanted to see what the setup was. The intake alone is like a grand dude. Like who's spending a grand on an intake? I'm sorry, but I'm glad the guy did because now it's mine. <laughs> the MPI alone is over a grand. The turbo, if it's the cheapest version, I think it's probably like two, three grand. Like, dude, this thing has some money in it. And that's why when I searched those things up after seeing the car for the first time, I was like, I'd be stupid if I didn't buy this car. Now, of course, that does take some satisfaction away from the process because as a car guy, I do want to do the mods myself. I do want to do installs and, you know, make this car my own, which I will definitely be doing in my own way. But I'm honestly glad that a lot of those key things and expensive things are done already because that just means it's already set up for me. Just look at this thing, man. Oh my, it's just so aggressive. Like the 7.5 R is the best looking one. I have to say it, I have to say it. Especially on these wheels, it's like it was made for this car. I, I feel like it was made for this car. It, it just had to be. I know it's super dirty. I don't wanna see any comments. I'm gonna wash it soon, but wow, man. I love this car. Oh look, a ladybug. That's good luck, right? Now, in terms of the future of this car under my ownership, of course, there is a lot I want to do. A lot has been done, but there's still so much that can be done to make this car my own. I don't want to spill the beans completely, but I think it's obvious this car is way too quiet. So we're definitely going to fix that. Also, I think I'm going to say this straight up. I think I need a front lip. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think, I think this thing needs a front lip to make it a little bit more aggressive. So stay tuned for one of those. I think I'm going to look and see what the options are. The rest, I can't lie. I'm going to keep under wraps. I'm sorry. I'm going to keep it under wraps, but I'm going to say this. As I said earlier, it's stage one. I don't know if I'm going to do it now, but eventually we're going to change that. And we're going to make this thing a lot more fun. Let me know down in the comments what you think I should do to this car next. We can make this thing look really cool aesthetically. And also we can still add a lot of things to make it really powerful and really fun so if you know this platform drop a comment down below and let me know what i should do and in general if you guys want to see certain things done to this car let me know because then maybe i might consider it and add it on to the build so moral of the story honestly if there's a car out there that has a bunch of mods on it and you told me you wanted to buy it i'd honestly tell you no However, in a situation like this, if you see something that is being undervalued, it has a bunch of really good mods done properly to the car and the people selling it to you don't know about it, definitely 
go for it because you're basically maximizing on your investment. In my opinion, I got this car for a pretty good price. And even if you wanted to get a stock one, I think what I paid was a very, very good deal. But the level that this car has been modified to, like if you were to go do that on your own, would cost you way more money. With all that being said, when it comes to looking for used cars, you should definitely know what you're looking at. And if you don't, that's okay. Get somebody who does because that can really find you a diamond in the rough. Thank you guys so much for watching another video. I am just super stoked on this car and I'm sure you can tell through the camera. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead down below and hit the like button. And of course, subscribe for more videos coming very, very soon. I promise you guys, we are not gonna waste any time when it comes to this car. We are jumping right in. So I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you have an amazing day. Peace. What happened to my HFP Honda Civic Si? I've been waiting a long time to tell the story and today we are finally addressing the elephant in the room. Can't even put the car in the gear. Yeah, it's completely done.